So I'm in my home kitchen garden and I've just taken a big cloche off this bed in front of me. Um, it's a little bit breezy today and windy, so I just wanted this bed to get a little bit of air movement to it. That's a really important thing, especially at this time of year, because you might think that covering things with fleece and um, polythene, see-through polythene is actually quite good for the garden. Fleece isn't too bad, but especially polythene, it has a tendency to get condensation inside. If you keep it on the bed too long, as I have found out in the past, um, things start getting condensation on them and then they start rotting. So they get like fungal diseases. So if you can, especially your greenhouses as well, try and aerate them, open the louvers, open the doors, open the little windows on the top. Just this time, you know, this time of year, if you've got a little bit of breeze happening, open things up and let things breathe. Uh, but I wanted to show you this bed as well, because in this bed, I've got three, three things growing. I did have four things, but it didn't withstand the freeze that we had and the frost. Um, the one thing that is doing really well is my spinach. And this spinach is going to, it is growing really slowly. I mean, it is January, so it's not gonna grow hugely. But mid-February, this is gonna take off this spinach. And I just wanted to feel the leaves just to see how they withstood all this frost and this um, frozen that we've had. And in actual fact, it hasn't done too badly, especially the centers of the, of the spinach. They're doing really well. They're a little wet, so I'm glad that I've opened this cloche up today. The other thing that I've also got in here are um, some spring onions that I'm overwintering. I keep kind of giving them a squeeze to see if they're getting soft and they're not bad. They're not fantastic, but they're not bad. Some of the bigger ones are pretty good. Um, I am harvesting them every so often. I like to have them a little bit more like my finger, not really, really skinny. Uh, I'm gonna see how these go as well. So I'm leaving these in. The other thing that I had in here was endive, and the endive didn't last the frost and the um, frozen. So they went, there's the tag, bye bye. But I have planted some garlic in here and this was the extra early white garlic, purple white garlic that I started off in modules. Um, so that's gone in here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them in here and I've got them in behind me. So those two beds behind me that have veggie mesh on top are my other alliums. They're all my garlic. Um, I've also got a few more in the big greenhouse that I will plant out, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. They're starting to get a really good root system on them, but I'll just wait a little bit longer and they will probably go over to the allotment. So let me just show you this bed. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about was that, um, to do with spinach is that we love um, spinach and Asian greens and um, chard and lettuce. And so it's quite difficult for us to kind of keep up with the demand of what we like. So I try and, I try and grow spinach all year round, but I change the varieties. This variety here, which is a really good winter spinach, is called Medania. It's a great spinach. The one that I'm going to start off in February is my favorite, and it is called Red Kitten. It's actually um, quite difficult to get now labeled as Red Kitten. You might have to get the Red Veined, which is similar, but not exactly the same. I've been looking for the Red Kitten and I haven't been able to find any yet. So if you know anybody that sells Red Kitten um, spinach, let me know. I, we absolutely love that spinach. It's a great, it is so nice in salads and it is so pretty as well. I'll put a photo up so you can see. Um, so that's the next one I'm gonna start off. So when this starts growing um, in February, like mid-February, we will eat from here. I mean, there's quite a few little baby leaves that I could get off here, but I'm just going to leave it for a little bit longer so that they just establish. I planted this out, hmm, well, before the winter, end of, I would say end of November. I don't remember because I don't have the tag. Of course I don't have the tag. 
Um, this year I'm going to try and be better with my tags. And yes, it is doing really lovely. Spinach is great for cold weather. They, it loves the cold weather. In the summer, it has a tendency to bolt. That's why when the light levels start to get better in February, this is gonna take off. And then I would say March, end of March, it will start bolting. And then hopefully I will have my next slot ready to go in. So um, let's just have a closer look at this spinach and my spring onions and my garlic. So here's a great example of the centers coming nicely on this spinach. See how beautiful that is here. It's a bit unfortunate that I didn't have any more of this, but even here, look here, it's growing really nice, beautiful. And the spring onions, they're doing okay. There's one there. This is, this variety is white Lisbon. It always does well in the winter. I've got a few of them. I've got quite a few, as you can see, that are really thin. And then if we go around here, let's have a look at this garlic. The garlic's doing really well. It's grown quite a lot actually, which doesn't surprise me because I've got the cloche on it. Um, so there is an overview of the bed. This bed is one meter square. Most of my beds are. I do have some that are 1.2 which are the ones behind me. There's the garlic beds that I was telling you about. And I'm actually quite happy with this garlic. The only garlic that I see that has split, and when I say split, I mean, hmm, now, I might have to open this up and show you. See that one there? That has got two green stems coming up. It looks as though the garlic, the actual, um, clove has split so I think I'm going to go in there and I'm going to split that and then I'm going to re-sow it because you won't get great garlic bulbs if they're split some varieties do it some don't the rest look okay fantastic